righty. Um, so as many of you know, there have been um, some leaks about the King's Island Giga that have come out. Um, some of those leaks are true and they're real. They're right from the city themselves. So in this rendering on your screen right now, the brake run turn into the station, transfer track location, station, lift hill um, is almost accurate. We don't know the height, so the height on this coaster is not accurate. Um, but the location of the brake run turn into the station, transfer track, station, lift hill and drop is pretty accurate compared to what the blueprints saw. Um, but there have been blueprints that came forward. Um, and again, in my previous video, I said I don't know how I feel about them. Um, they were very different from the blueprints I saw for Yukon Striker. Um, so I've been pretty hesitant to fully commit to saying those are real. But I'm going to discuss if they're real, how I feel. Um, and uh, I've been sitting back for quite some time. Um, again, Yukon Striker opened at Wonderland. So my channel has been focusing on Yukon Striker a lot. Yes, it's taken over the channel. And yes, for those that haven't been enjoying it, it is finally gone, I promise you, um, for the Americans that have been kind of like, why is there so much Yukon Striker content? It's gone. There's nothing else to make about Yukon Striker until a later, later date. Um, so we'll be focusing on vlogs, construction updates at other parks and stuff like that. Back to the um, summer days last year. Um, but nonetheless, this coaster layout based off of what we're seeing is a lot better um, than I think a lot of people gave credit for um, when it first leaked. Um, again, I'm going to... Again, I'm not fully committing to those uh, leaks being 100% accurate, but a lot of people are saying they do trust it. So assuming that this is real, let's assume it's real for a second. Um, this is a mock-up um, using the angles that were shown in the uh, blueprints. And again, this is just a prediction layout. This doesn't, um, this isn't me saying this is what it's going to be. Um, any of you know, I don't know roller coaster design very well. I am more of a GP channel, but um, we had an engineer that works for a city mock up this based off of the blueprints they saw. Um, it's the same person that helped us with Yukon Striker. Um, he's super talented uh, and a huge thank you to him for taking the time to build this. It has taken him a lot of time, um, again, as he has a full time job in engineering. Um, so uh, hopefully you guys really enjoyed. He put a lot of time and effort into this and these uh, mock ups of ride stats and all that. So he made a prediction based off of like angles, measurements and all that. And I mean, he really dove in deep uh, at 305 feet tall. So it's probably going to be anywhere between 280 to 305 feet tall in terms of height with a drop um, definitely between 300 feet and 310 feet is our prediction um, with speeds around like 90 to 94 miles per hour, perhaps, you know, anywhere between like maybe 135 to 151 kilometers an hour. Um, and a track length of 5,382 feet long and a uh, drop to break time of 48 seconds. So a lot of people were upset um, to begin with based off of the size of it. I think a lot of people really expected a much larger Giga Coaster coming to Kings Island. Um, and uh, I, I don't think you have anything to be upset about. Truly, this looks like an amazing coaster. If this is what it's going to end up being, even if this is close to what it's going to end up being, you have a very short coaster, but short coasters sometimes pack the best punches. Um, you guys are going to have what looks like a Leviathan and Fury um, breed of coaster. So it's going to take out maybe those moments that are a little drawn out and give you just a really powerful packed coaster all at um, all <laughs> at Kings Island. I mean, you guys have been getting coasters left, right and center. You guys are truly spoiled over there. And that's um, not sitting here uh, angry about it. I'm definitely very jealous um, but again, this is another great coaster coming to your guys' park. It is definitely confirmed to be a Giga. So for those of you that don't believe it's a Giga, um, even the uh, blueprints that are real coming out of the city definitely confirm it's a Giga coaster. So that's truly exciting. And I mean, you got um, two low to the ground airtime hills, which is absolutely something I love on Leviathan. Um, you have the high speed overbank turn, which is something I really love. And you have my favorite element on Fury. Um, I think this is a reverse treble clef. Um, turn again, please correct me wrong if I make any mistakes on names and all that, but I'm definitely loving the looks of this. It looks like you, um, got actually more speed hills than, uh, I even predicted. Um, it looks like there's three actually instead of two. 
But uh, I definitely think you guys have a lot to be proud of. It's definitely something that if this is again true, <laughs> I'm super jealous. This is definitely a really powerful Giga Coaster. Despite it being short, it's going to be awesome. Um, and uh, I definitely want to hear from you guys. What do you think about the leak blueprints? What do you think about this mock-up of a prediction layout? Um, would you be excited and happy if this was coming to your home park? I think a lot of us tend to overhype ourselves, all of us. I'm not pointing any fingers. And then when a ride gets announced, you get a little upset. But um, I think we need to always pull ourselves back in terms of overhyping our expectations. I mean, if you look at Yukon Striker, we were definitely at one point thinking maybe it could perhaps be a Giga Dive Coaster and it didn't end up being a Giga Dive Coaster. And I still love the coaster. I think a lot of us just need to pull ourselves back and really appreciate what's coming to our parks. And I think you guys have a lot to be proud of. This looks like an amazing coaster. Um, and again, a huge thank you to Dustin uh, for whipping this up. Super talented. And you put a lot of time and effort into helping us figure this out. Um, so hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. And don't forget to comment down below what you guys think about this Giga Coaster coming to Kings Island. All right, hopefully you're having a great long weekend in Canada and a great weekend in the States. Have a good one, guys. Bye.